So I'm gonna change the way I do my training vlogs on YouTube. I'm gonna um, still video my same training like I do every day. Um, but what I'm gonna do at the front of the video, I'm gonna put tips, um, like a quick guide to whatever I'm doing. So more of a beginner, people who are learning that skill. Um, and then wherever I'm at, I'll cover that part. So the first section is gonna be beginner how to, and then the second part is gonna be wherever I'm at with the training. So it might be something I'm still learning or it might be something that I'm just working on conditioning wise. Um, yep, yeah. so see if you like it. So today's handstand push-ups, I'm gonna work 90 degree handstand push-up and I'm gonna try and put a pause in at the bottom. Real quick regression, obviously if you have a 90 degree handstand push-up, you can start playing with the pauses and things like that or multiple repetitions. If you don't have a 90 degree handstand push-up yet, um, back one step would be a straddle 90 degree handstand push-up or an elevated one. They're slightly easier because the chin head can come below the shoulders, blow the hands a little bit and help lever arm you up. Um, straddle makes the lever arm shorter. If you don't have that yet, you could try doing eccentric. So an eccentric, just the down movement and try and hold the bottom position of the 90 um, degree handstand push-up either in straddle or straight. Obviously straight's harder. Uh, back one more step would be a deficit handstand push-up. So taking the collarbone to touch a box and go that depth. Back a step again would be uh, a handstand push-up on the floor. So head to the floor. Um, if you don't have a standard freestanding handstand push-up yet, then it's either training the balance uh, or the strength component. So you can do different variations. You can do time and attention against the wall doing eccentrics. You can do partial range. Um, I have got a video where I go into some different um, options for that um, and that's where it's a little bit different for the individual depending on where your balance is where your strength is uh, I've always had the sh um, quite a bit of strength around there I've always been good at pushing and I've got short lever arms um, so handstand push-ups are quite easy for me from a strength point of view I had to learn the balance um, once your balance gets better you get more efficient um, so here's just a few variations of some options if you haven't got a handstand push-up yet of things to work on So today's handstand push-ups, I'm gonna work 90 degree handstand push-up and I'm gonna try and put a pause in at the bottom. So I'm gonna make it harder by staying at the bottom for as long as I can without the toes touching the floor and as parallel to the floor as I can be. And then it's trying to keep that good position and push back up to the handstand uh, without a pause. So first I'm gonna do a normal one, a normal 90 degree handstand push-up, no pause, and then do a second one, see if I can have a, a long pause and just do some reps and sets of that. Stick any questions in the comments, um, any tutorials that you'd like, anything you want me to cover in more detail. Um, cool. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe. See you next time.